Hey, what's up? Today on Passport Kings, I'm going over the top 10 dangerous countries that you probably shouldn't visit this year. Engage! I'm Rockland. I travel the globe for leisure, exploration, and education about different cultures. Join me, and you too can be royalty. This is Passport King. Welcome aboard, abroad. The good thing about melanin is that 80% of the world is melanated. So navigating this planet is not as scary as it may be for people who are of European persuasion. Not only are African Americans more likely to be the same skin color as the countries we are visiting, but more importantly, a lot of the people in a lot of the countries realize we basically have the same enemy. That enemy is the global system of white supremacy. Black Americans haven't really inflicted pain on other societies, so we are many times not that society's sworn enemy. But at the same time, we can't be naive. A lot of places here that Americans are raking in all the dough, and some of the places we visit can be majorly poor, and that's enough to start animosity to the tourists. And also, there are countries with people who don't look like us, and a lot of them actually hate us because of our skin. But you know, those things never stopped us from being explorers before, and I refuse to let them stop me now. So while this list is not telling you where not to go, it is showing you which countries you should study up on the up-to-date current political climate of before you hop on a plane. In reality, people are people and no one wants to go to jail even in their country for kidnapping or killing you. A lot of them don't find us that important. Alright, so check out this commercial, then let's get to the bottom of it. Have you gotten into travel hacking? If not, you certainly should. Don't pay full prices for flights when other people are not. You may think it's a badge of honor to stay loyal to one company, but if they're charging their newer customers a lot less than they're charging you, you're the only loyal one. Why put extra money in a fat cat's pocket? You can save that money for your loved one. So check out the travel hacking site that I left in the description below. People are literally saving thousands of dollars on flights abroad. Number 10, the United States of America. When most people think of the US, they think of the beaches of Miami and the bright lights of New York and LA. But what's rarely talked about is what goes on a few blocks away from tourist attractions and inner cities and trailer park towns. This country ranks a person's importance by how much money they have amassed in their lifetime. And no one seems to care how the money was created. So a lot of people take on a life of crime and unfairness to get real money by any means necessary. With that mentality comes anger towards each other and cutthroat survival tactics. Sprinkle in a lot of racism from people who look different from each other and a nuanced injustice system from those in charge and a lot of times brief meetings of humans becomes newsworthy tragedies. Don't get caught slipping in infamous black neighborhoods, methed out trailer park white neighborhoods, or anywhere that the KKK has infiltrated the police force, which is actually coast to coast according to the 2006 FBI report. Number 9, Burundi. For almost 20 years, this country has been trying to put together a treaty to stop the ongoing political warfare. Many times, the UN and other organizations of countries have tried to help iron out a solution to the ongoing battle, but with no luck. As a matter of fact, things seem to only get worse. And guess what? As a passport king, it seems like we're going to have to wait a few years before we get to travel to meet this society that I'm sure by now, after all of this conflict, just want to relax and take it easy. Number eight, Honduras. Honduras has a flesh-eating disease that eats through people's face. But that's not even why I'm mad. Tell me why you mad, son. The police are the worst of the criminals you may run into while you are there. A recent investigation found that 13 out of every 67 officials were on the payroll of the most notorious drug kingpins in this country. The officers were reportedly involved in extortion, murder, bank robberies, auto theft, kidnapping, and drug trafficking. The joint investigation also unearthed a network of 28 officials who would allegedly delete gang members' records and provide them with driver's license bearing fake names for prices ranging between $420 USD and $630 USD. And that's the ones they found out about. I would never want to be in a situation where the people who I have to run to to save me from an injustice is the exact people I should be running from. Number seven, Israel. 
Israeli Arabs and Israeli Jews are still fighting this ongoing conflict that no one seems to be saying how it started. From what I've gathered from reading and research, the real reason why these two groups will never stop fighting until the end of time is because it is believed that when Jesus Christ, yeah, the guy from the Bibles, comes back, he is supposed to be landing in Israel. I laughed when I began to hear that this is why the US has built a fake society there and will defend it tooth and nail. Israel is a racist place that just passed the law preventing unification of Palestinian families, but Jews are always welcome to do so, unify. Everyone wants to have stakes here where the bearded white man steps out of the clouds in his blue suede sandals. But as you know, when it comes to religion, people start to get very violent because of differences of opinion. There really isn't much to see in this country anyway, so I suggest people just steer clear of this powder keg because one day another country is going to want the country of the landing strip of the holy chariots and you don't want to be vacationing there when that happens. Number six, Russia. If you must go to Russia, go to Moscow and stay there because traveling the unbeaten path could wind you up in a world of hurt. Russians are notorious for being racist and still taking on the Marxist ideologies that created the KKK and Aryan Nation. This country has not grown up when it comes to racism and you don't need to be the example that's made when they talk about how terrible racism is in that country. Steer clear. Number five, Pakistan. It's not only political turmoil, but there is gang warfare and of course the infamous battle between the Taliban and the Pakistani military. You could easily be caught in a gun battle in the middle of the streets. When President Obama was asked what keeps him up at night, his one word answer was Pakistan. <laughs> and he said it with that accent too. So if Obama wants nothing to do with this place, why do you? Number four, Syria. The Arab Spring threw a lot of things into chaos in Syria. Differences of religions and the allowance by some to let other countries come loot its natural resources has flipped this country upside down. Many have left to go find shelter in other countries and the people who are there are on edge and a visitor is the last thing they want to be friendly with right now. Number three, North Korea. Only a few tourists can be in North Korea at any one time, so chances are, if visiting this country was on your bucket list, you are already having a hard time visiting. Which is a good thing probably, because if you did get in, you would be accompanied by a tour guide the entire time. If you are caught doing anything that is against the strict set of hundreds of picky rules, like taking pictures that you weren't supposed to take, you could wind up staying in the country a lot longer than you would have hoped. Number two, Afghanistan. Can you believe it was almost 20 years since the attacks of 9-11? Afghanistan has always been a hotbed of war and destruction because of the growth of opium in its fields that everyone wants a piece of. But after 9-11, this country has really been flipped on its head. Taurus, you don't want to be landing in the middle of this action. Public executions of foreigners are done to send a message to the Western world, telling them to get out and take the Western military with them. The USA keeps pushing the dates back of when all the US troops can leave every year. So it doesn't seem like this conflict will be over anytime soon, which tells me I shouldn't be visiting anytime soon. Number one, Germany. I don't know about people from other groups, but African Americans are just not the Germans' favorite people. Besides, I'd rather travel to a country with great weather anyway. Many well-traveled scholars have said that they would advise a visitor with dark skin to not visit small and mid-sized towns. They might not make it out alive if they dared step foot in certain towns they want. Africans and other dark-skinned people in Berlin, Whistler, and other cities know certain areas in the eastern part of Berlin, such as Marzahn and Kellersdorf, are no-go areas where they are certain to be attacked or killed. It is also reported that German police routinely ignore these racist attacks, and Germans in general are in denial about the depth of racism in their society. They have laws against racism, but no actual case law has ever dealt with them. Even a former spokesperson said in the 2006 radio interview that dark-skinned visitors to Germany should consider avoiding the eastern part of the country where racism runs high. King. 
Basically, stay away from the places where the barbaric thoughts and practices of racism has not been publicly and systematically destroyed by the government. Also, stay away from countries with theocracies, which is countries that many of the rules of law is determined by the Bible or the religion of that country. And also, be wary of extremely poor countries, especially if your country is the reason they are in that destitute condition. But always remember, humans are humans are humans. We have some basic needs that if met, we are usually very kind to each other. Racism is just a mental retardation that needs to be annihilated. So before you pack up and go, make sure you have read up on the current events of any country that you are thinking about visiting. Yo, I know you're royal and you should always be able to go where you wanna go, but sometimes safety is the best policy. So yo, keep your family and yourself safe like a king, a passport king, peace. like this episode? Great! Remember to leave comments below, subscribe and like and share it with your social media. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. And if you want to make money online or just book a trip, go to www.passportkings.com and pick up our free book while you're there.